Hello and welcome to another episode of The Collection. And today we are going to be looking at various phantasm spheres. Now why? Because my good friends at Paragon sent me their new Phantasm 2 sphere replica and I thought, you know what? Instead of doing just one video about this super cool item, how about I show every different version that I currently own from bad to amazing. So let's start that right now. Let's get the balls flying. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You got it. You understood where I was going with that. So we're going to start at the beginning. This piece of crap. <laughs> now, let's be fair. When this came out, we were all pretty excited. This was the Phantasm Sphere collector set from Anchor Bay. I believe this was only available overseas. I don't think this was um, available in the U.S. for purchase. So it was like a, a region locked version. But you get your DVD set in this incredibly oversized sphere. Look at this thing. A little too big, maybe. But then again, they had to get those in there. So that's the whole reasoning behind this. So it came with a little stand. I don't think I've ever even opened this. I mean, I never had a reason to, to display this ginormous sphere. Sphere. Keep saying it. But uh, let's take a look. Let's, let's assemble this bad boy. So it goes in there, like so. Let's see. Oh, oh, you just drop them in, it looks like. They don't look too bad so far. A little stand. And lock this bad boy in. Put her back together. And there you go. Maybe a little too big, huh? But still, pretty cool. I mean, for what it was, pretty cool. And, you know, I kept it in the collection. Got to keep it in the collection. So I'll put this sucker over here. We'll do a little comparison of all of them at the end of the video. Next, we're going to go into this one here. This is one that was released in the US. The Phantasm Sphere Collection. This was from Well Go USA. So let's take a look at how the, I don't know if I, I haven't opened this one yet. Can I open it from the bottom? No, it looks like I got to open it from the top. This still has the old sticker on it. I haven't even opened this. See, that's part of being a collector and having, you know, seen everything a thousand times and watch it. You know, I have so much stuff like this that I haven't ever even opened. Just I haven't had time to actually sit down and watch a lot of it. And, you know, like I said, I've seen most of it, to be honest with you. But you get into that collector mindset where you just buy everything, you know. There we go. Now I think we're in business. I think. Are we in business? Maybe we're not in business. There we go. So let's take a good look at this. This is the first time I'm opening it. So, oh, God damn it! They put them on the side, too. <laughs> you bastards. Well, or we go USA, whatever the hell you're called. What is it again? Well, go screw yourself with all this packaging. Yeah, I'm kidding. It's a very nice package. Looks, looks like a very good product. All right. I think we may be in business. We're in business. All right. I got to get comfortable now. Oh, wow. This cool little hemi cuda there. When it just opens, is that what, or does this come out? It comes out, it looks like. Oh, apparently the discs are in there in the bottom because I feel some, some heft down there. And, uh, okay. That. The seam is quite obvious there, um, at least on this angle. Might be a little blemish. It says blades and stand inside, so I just open from here. This whole thing's turning into a bit of a uh, a maze, a product maze. Very similar little plastic stand to the other one. You know, now size-wise, this is looking a little more 
on par with the real deal. Okay, I'm guessing those just lock in there like so. I'm guessing that's it. Do I have it the right way? It looks, that look correct? Yeah, no, that's right. They seem a little high. The blades seem like they're coming a little, a little too much from the top. Um, they should be centered a little more in my opinion. But this is a nice, this is a nice piece, you know, to come with the set. You know, I wouldn't be bummed with this. We're going to keep going till we rock through all of these. Now, getting on to the next one. The next one we are going to look at, this is a company called Nightmares Unlimited. And they make replicas. These are just a couple that I happened to purchase. This is from a gentleman named uh, Mark Phillips, I believe. Nightmares Unlimited. And this is his part one version. It's got some heft to it. It rattles a little bit, but but it's got some heft to it. A good weight. Um, and then this was a part three inspired version with the little eyeball. I just thought it was kind of cool, so I picked that one up. He does various versions. Don't believe they're licensed, but that's okay. You know, <laughs> I don't I, I don't mind. Uh, you know, so you got something that I want, I'm down. But these are rad. And uh, this has got decent weight to it, too. And I think I just, I don't know if they came with these or if I just found those and sat them on there. But he may they may have come with those since they're similar. But, uh, yeah, part one, part three. And now we are going to get into the Paragon part two sphere replica. And here we go. Beautiful box. Their presentation is always on point. I like how it's got like the marble vibe, like the mausoleum. I see what you're doing there with it. Again, unnumbered, but we've already covered that. And I've talked to uh, Rye over there and they're going to rectify that for future releases. Um, but yeah, very cool. Let's take a look at what's inside. Ooh, looky there. Look at this. getting the treatment look at that nice foam foam I mean this is you know they ship their stuff correct they they do it very uh you know you want it to be safe and arrive that's nice you can see nice little cushion there for the ball you like your balls to be a cushion don't you you do don't you I do and here we go Ooh, look at that my fingerprints are getting on it already Thing of beauty. We got the drill. We'll put that in. I think that just. Oh, there you go. Oh, I guess it does go in the wolfer. That. And then. Got a really cool base, too. I like the base a lot. Check this out. That's a really nice base. If you can see. So. We'll have that ready for when this, well, I guess I can go ahead and sit it there now. Look at that. One thing I do like about it is a lot of these, I notice there's weight issues with them wanting to move around a lot. This one seems to be pretty, like, rock solid of where it needs to be. All right. And uh, the blades, they, they feel, they're real metal. They're thick. You can, you can feel it. I'm afraid I could cut myself at any moment. Um, they do feel pretty sharp, actually. It's not for kids. It's not for children. All right. Look at that. Now, these look a lot smaller than the other blades we've seen. A lot smaller. Let's see how these go in. I just... I just... Oh. Okay, wait, that can't be right. There we go. I'm gonna impale my hand while I'm doing this. 
Okay, that one went in a lot easier. There we go. So I'm thinking maybe this needs to be more like this. I don't know. That's pretty sweet though. So it would be more like the. I don't even know what this is. It's just a. Oh! <laughs> It comes with prop store gloves, so you can look cool like those guys when they do their videos. And you can be like, oh, this is like really expensive, that's why I'm doing this. These are not the... Wow, is it made for children? Are the little dwarves that, that work for the tall man? <laughs> These are some tight-ass gloves. I guess I was supposed to do this as to not get the fingerprints on there yeah now I get it yeah and you can wipe it as you do it well now I'll, I'll wear my prop store gloves as I as I show off the item so yeah very cool one thing I really liked about this I thought this was a really nice addition is one of my favorite features of the phantasm 2 sphere is the blade that cuts the priest's ear off. So you get the little blade. Does it not spin? I said it does not spin. But it's a cool accessory, I think. Um, now, mind you, I haven't compared this to the film yet. I kind of felt like that blade was bigger. Now that's just how I remember it in my mind. I'll drop in a clip here and we'll take a look. But I, for some reason I thought that that blade was maybe the size of, I don't know, almost felt like it was twice the size of that, but I could be wrong. I mean, it may be that small. It just, in, the, in my memory, it uh, seemed bigger. Anyway, this is freaking awesome. This is a really nice, and it's got a good heft to it. Great packaging. Uh, you know, all the cool accessories, awesome stand, definitely a winner right here. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I love all of these in their own way, so no complaints. Okay, so now let's take a look at all of them. I'm going to go with Giant Phantasm Sphere DVD set. The other DVD set, smaller one. The replicas. There we go. So as you can see, there's a definite size difference here. Now, I don't know the exact size of the original or even the, the one from part two. Uh, the original was made by a guy named Willard Green uh, who, who designed the spheres for the first Phantasm film. I remember part two, a guy named Steve Patino uh, did the um, spheres for that film. I met Steve at a Fangoria convention and actually bought a resin copy from him. I no longer own it. I sold it years ago, but he passed away sometime not long after I met him. Died at a young age. But then for part three, and I believe the films after part three, a guy named Kerry Pryor, who I met on the set of Phantasm 3, he designed the spheres for part three. Now, I don't know if he had any reference to go off of. I'm sure Coscarelli must own some of the original ones. All I have to go off of is the size of the third one, which I own. A screen used part three sphere. And here is that right here. This is a screen used sphere from Phantasm 3. See the hole in the back? That was where an attachment was put in and they had it up on plexiglass and they were shooting it going down the hallway and they could make it turn and do all different things. I actually was there that day when they shot that and have photos of it on set so it's pretty cool that I ended up with it years later. But this is the original sphere from part three. Now you can see the size differences here. It is a little bit bigger 
than the Paragon one and the Nightmares Unlimited replicas. But it is on par size-wise with the one that came with uh, the DVD set from WellGo USA. Uh, this one is just ridiculous. That's way too big. <laughs> but, you know, if you start looking at, you know, again, I don't know if the Part 3 one is size accurate to the Part 2. Um, because I don't know if he just made them and and uh, didn't have anything to really reference. Who knows? I'm not sure. That's a question for Carrie. That's a question for Don Goscarelli. Uh, but either way, you know, they're pretty damn close. Um, I don't think anybody would complain either way. But just to give you an idea, I will say, now maybe it's because it's the newest, that is the shiniest. The Paragon one is the cleanest. It is the newest, but it is really, really shiny and clean. That's just like it's it's got a, compared to the other ones, this one has a real nice, almost mirror quality to it. So I give them a lot of credit on that. And I know, much like the problems they went through with the Ashtray, quality control on this, they had a lot of problems with as well. Um, you know, because just the slightest imperfections, you know, can ruin a piece. I mean, I can notice tiny ones on this, you know, real tiny, you know, and that's the problem with dealing with chroming is it's, it's going to be hard to be perfect. So anyway, props to Paragon. They knocked it out of the park once again. And here's a little look at just my, my, uh, sphere collection. Got to put that there. There you go. Boom. Look at that. Now it makes it more official. And you got the uh, the logo there. And you know what makes it even more official? These gloves. So. Hey everybody! So people have been wondering, Sean, how do we get merch? How do we get t-shirts? How do we get Horrors Hollow Ground stuff? How do we get throw rugs? How do we get Thing with Two Head stuff? How do we get blankets? You want a onesie for a baby, a kazoo. I don't think they do kazoos. Some people might even want Hollywood's Hollow Ground stuff. The collection with Sean Clark, nobody wants to wear that as a shirt. Anything that they'll slap the logos on, you want to be able to get it, right? So if you go to tpublic.com backslash user, Backslash malfunction. I think that's it. Yeah, tpublic.com <laughs> backslash user backslash malfunction. You can order all kinds of good stuff. And people have been asking for Mark Beer's latest design. Mark Beer rules. He does a lot of our artwork, pretty much all of our artwork. The skull design. See it here? We're going to make that available now. Go to the website and order it now on anything you want. Am I moving my arms enough? I hope so. You want shirts, you want hoodies, you want things like that, because you dig it. Tpublic.com backslash user backslash malfunction. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for supporting the channel. The more we grow this thing, the more content we can bring, the more stuff we can share with you guys. That's what it's all about, man. Being a community, like-minded people, into the same shit, rock and roll.